I feel like my time here has been good. I feel like I learned a lot already from uh, being around the coaches and being around so many high-level basketball players and just people. So uh, definitely been in, in the training room a lot with James Doran, just trying to rehab and really just working every day to uh, recover my body and, and basically just get back on the court. I've been on the court a lot lately and just started doing live and stuff. So uh, I'm really excited to really get back into things. I don't really know a percentage, but I mean, I feel good. I'll say that. <laughs> I wouldn't really say that I pattern my game after one person. I feel like uh, I watch a lot of different people and then try to take different parts of their game and emulate it in mine. Uh, I feel like there's not really a player that I would resemble. Uh, but I feel like I might take style to somebody like maybe, uh, I don't know. Like I like the way Jalen Brown plays, but I also like the way like Rajon Rondo plays, like pass first, but also like athletic finisher, rebounder, defensive player. So not really one person in particular, but a lot of different people. I feel like the adjustment's been going pretty good. Uh, I feel like it's taught me how to get into a routine and really take basketball as a job. Being around Coach Hurley and other coaches really is, is, is inspiring. Seeing their passion for the game and seeing everybody, even like uh, everybody on the campus is just so dialed in to the game. So it helps you focus. And especially being in Connecticut in stores, it's not much to do. So and keep your mind on the right, on the right things. <laughs> I've been to UConn so many times. I mean, my first time, I think I seen Ray Allen and, and Jim Calhoun in the same weekend. So. I mean, I would just say it's electric being on campus, seeing the banners hung up on the wall, seeing the different players who came through here and really made an impact and left a legacy. So I feel like the nostalgia here is is, is greater than any pro, great, just as good or greater than any program in the country, especially with the girls' side and the boys' side being so uh, so good in, in the past decade. So I feel like every day just coming in here, all the nostalgia definitely creates a lot of mo motivation for, for me and I'm sure for everybody else. So, I mean, it's, it's crazy. And my first time being on campus, realizing that I'm not going back home was great. I was, I was excited to stay. I didn't want to go home, honestly. I feel like I learned a lot. I learned a lot from everybody. Every, everybody on the team is definitely really open-minded and they try to help out the younger guys. So every day I'm in contact with Book Knight. He's telling me how his freshman year went, different things to – to look for different things to uh, really do in practice that, that can help you. Also, uh, I go to RJ a lot. RJ is a real smart ball player. He knows the ins and outs of the offense. So I feel like he helps me out a lot with just like, like picking up the schemes and knowing what to do. And also I feel like they lead by example. So I could watch them and watch the way they go through the drills and automatically just pick it up because of the precision that they move with and uh, yeah. Everybody knows he's a really good scorer. He's a really unstoppable scorer. But also, I like the way that he, uh, like, he can bring a team together and help. He helps uh, basically everybody on the team. So I mean, he's he's reaching out to the bigs. He's reaching out to the younger guards and and really just uh, trying to. He wants to win, and I I seen that as soon as I stepped on campus that he wants to win. And I mean, everybody knows he's a good scorer, but. Not everybody knows his personality and, and uh, what he brings to the table mentally. And his, the way he – also another thing is his, his competitive nature. He's one of the most competitive people I've met. And he takes the game really seriously and it goes about his business. Uh, I definitely feel like I can make a big impact as a freshman. Uh, I'm not sure – like his, his scoring average is like 20 points or something like that. I mean, I'm not sure how many points I'm going to be scoring, but I know I'm going to make impact, whether that's on defense, whether that's – rebounding, whatever whatever I need to do. So, I mean, if it if, if it happens, it happens. Um, if, if it doesn't, I mean, I know I'm going to have an impact. It's just a matter of uh, where I can fit in and what things I could do to help the team win. It was a meniscus injury, but um, I'm basically fully fully back now playing. So, it's a minor minor surgery injury. So, I mean, uh, I'm definitely I'm, – I'm feeling good about it and uh, not really feeling that much pain anymore. So, I'm ready to get back into it. I mean – I, I definitely was excited when I heard the date. I knew we were going to have a season, like Tyree said, because coach was just preaching to us there's going to be a season. So that never was really like a thought that went through my head that there wasn't going to be a season. But, I mean, it was definitely 
really exciting to see that it's actually going to happen and we have set dates for games and different stuff. So definitely excited to uh, get into it. Okay.